Instagram stars have told how they were duped by a scammer who impersonated Wendy Murdoch and convinced them to fly to Indonesia to take photographs for a fictitious photo project Henry Wu and his girlfriend Zornitsa Shahanska spent $7,500 on flights and fees on the fake project after receiving an email from the con artist pretending to be Rupert Murdoch's ex-wife Wu, 41, is from San Francisco and Mori is Bulgarian They have a combined Instagram following of 160,000, run blogs and are professional photographers the email detailed a project that would capture the essence of China and communities in Chinese communities throughout Southeast Asia ahead of the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics Despite several red flags, it was only once they had given more than $2,000 in fees to their driver which they, though they needed, in order to take photographs publicly, that they learned it had all been a scam who says he has since heard of others being subjected to similar scams in the region, described the ordeal on their website, This Life of Travel In an interview on Thursday, he told DailyMail.com that they believed the email was genuine after researching Mutich and learning about a passion for art I was aware of who she was beforehand, but mostly on a general scale. We definitely did some research on her after the initial call and saw that she heavily involved in art and philanthropy, so it added to the authenticity a bit for us, he said. The convincing initial email came from the address me at wundimerdich.com and mentioned Pyler Guzman, a contributor to Condé Nast Traveler which the pair had recently worked for. It complimented their photographs and asked if they were available for a phone call to discuss the project Around a week later, Wu and Mori, who have 160,000 combined fans on their travel-focused Instagram pages, spoke to the scammer on the phone Describing their accent in a blog post on their website on Thursday Wu wrote, when she got on the line, she introduced herself with an interesting accent that was a mix of Asian, British, and East Coast drawl If any of you have seen Crazy Rich Asians, she sounded very similar to the character that Michelle Yeoh played The scammer asked if they would travel to a handful of locations, take photographs and then submit them for an exhibition Convinced they were speaking to the real person, the pair were thrilled Murdoch is known internationally as a persuasive Bucines woman and art enthusiast They were not suspicious that she did not want them to take photographs in China and thought there were others working on the project simultaneously around the world The project was supposed to highlight Chinese culture outside of China specifically Chinese communities that sprouted up in Southeast Asia We were thinking the locations would be in Malaysia or Thailand, which had a larger Chinese community and more photogenic areas, but she convinced us to go to Jakarta, which did have a Chinese community as well As photographers and content creators, we've definitely been asked to photograph things that weren't the most deal, so it wasn't that far-fetched We imagined that she had sent other photographers to other locations and she needed coverage in Jakarta, he explained to DailyMail.com When her assistant later told them to front the money for their own flights the next day to Jakarta instead of China, they were dubious, but not entirely discouraged After a couple more calls negotiating budget and timelines we agreed on a price that was higher and a timeline that was later than she initially offered she also said that we would have to book our own tickets to Jakarta since she was taking care of all the internal flights via private jet and hotels 
Zori and I spent some time discussing whether or not we should be fronting such a large amount up front with a new client we had never actually met. Last minute airline tickets were $2,200 United States dollars each. But all I could think of was the grandeur and high-profile connections that Wendy would be able to open up for us if the project was successful. We also had done other projects in the past, albeit with bigger companies, where we had to front travel costs first and then be reimbursed at project conclusion, so this wasn't entirely asking too much, he wrote on his website. After signing an NDA they sent over despite it containing numerous red flags such as the name of a lawyer who did not appear to exist online and the fact that Murdoch's website had only been active for a few weeks, the pair dove and bought their flights. They arrived in Jakarta, where they were met by a local, in on a scam driver who they were told they had to give a photography permit fee to. Wendy's assistant, a man who called himself Aaron on the phone, had told them previously that the fees $1,100 United States dollars were par for the course in the corrupt country. He gave us a silly looking piece of paper with an official seal on it. We had some warning bells going off in our heads, but Wendy's assistant Aaron did tell us we'd be handing the money over to the driver, Wu wrote. He took a photograph of the driver and of his license plate and was later told by Wendy's assistant that it was racist to have done so. In total, over the course of three days, they spent $2,300 on the fees. Eager to fulfill their end of the deal despite their suspicions, the couple set out on their first day in Jakarta to take photographs. Their fears were increased, however, when they got talking to a German photographer at a Chinese temple who told them he too was working for Wendy Murdoch on a similar project. They returned to their hotel which had been paid for, but asked the concierge to call ahead to the others, where they were told they would be staying to check if they had also been paid. None had. The other shoe finally dropped when he asked a friend who lived locally if he had heard of such a scam happening before. To his horror, the friend sent him a link to a Hollywood Reporter article which detailed near-identical schemes where the fraudsters had impersonated Hollywood producers. Wu immediately started securing his bank accounts and their online information. I immediately started securing all my bank accounts and added extra levels of security to the credit score companies in case they tried to do some identity theft on us. I also did some extra security steps like changing my email, social media passwords and monitoring all network traffic from my laptop just in case they had added keystroke loggers to my laptop somehow. Then we booked our flights out of Jakarta immediately to Kuala Lumpur since our return flight was actually out of Bangkok a couple weeks later. Our friend would have let us stay with him, but we just wanted to get out of Jakarta as we didn't know to what extent who was involved locally, hotel staff, local police, etc. We only were able to relax the moment we passed through immigration in Kuala Lumpur," he told DailyMail.com. The couple has not reported their ordeal to police in either the US or in Indonesia. Instead, they have handed over all their information to a private investigator firm which they said was already investigating the scam. Neither of the pair has heard from Murdoch and DailyMail.com's inquiries to her office went unanswered on Thursday. Now, Wu 
Ng and Shahanska are warning other social media stars not to fall for similarly attractive offers of work from celebrities or companies without fully vetting them.